Hello everyone! Today we're going to learn how to create a good-looking CV in Canva. So, let's get started! Alright, the first thing we need to do is to look for some templates that we can edit. So, we're going to go to the search bar and we're going to type in resume. From the drop-down below, we're going to click on see all so that we'd be taken to the templates page where we can choose some templates that we could use and modify. So feel free to choose whatever template you'd like to use. Okay, what about this one over here? We're going to try it out and click on customize this template. Okay. If ever you want to change your template, no worries. You can go to the sidebar and look for the design button. Click on it and you'll be able to see templates from here. Choose one that you like. And if you want to make searching faster or searching for a template faster, then use the uh, search bar over here. Input relevant keywords and yeah, it'll pop up right over here. Say, for example, we're going to change it to this one. Oh, I think it has two pages. Let's delete the other one. And stick with this one. I think this one looks quite nice. Okay, let's get started. So as for me, I like to start with the background color. <laughs> so we're going to change it. We're going to click on the background here. And we're going to go to this color button. And we're going to choose a specific color that we'd like to use. Okay, I think that's fine. And then I'd also like to change the color of this element. Something similar to our background color, but a bit darker. So let's do that. Let's click on it. Go to the color button again. And search for a specific color that we'd like to use. Okay, I think that's nice. So far, I like it. Okay, as for these elements right here, I think they look nice, but we can also replace them if that's what we want. So first, we're going to remove them, click on them, and press on or click on this delete button. And do the same thing for the other one. Now we're going to go to the element section. Okay. We're going to search for whatever it is that we want to um, look for. <laughs> Perhaps I'd like to use um, this one. Let's give it a try. Oh, it's not still. It's a moving element. <laughs> Let's look for another one. Um, how about this one? Let's try to zoom it in, put it right over here, I think, and rotate it. I think it disrupts the content, so we're going to look for another one. Something that's quite simple. How about this one? We're going to rotate it, put it somewhere over here and then change its color to something that would match our theme. Okay, I think that's all right. Maybe we could try to zoom it in. And then maybe we could duplicate it by pressing this button and then put the other one over here. And then we're going to send it to the back. So let's go to position and backward. Okay. And then we're going to rotate it until we're happy with its position. I'd like to rotate this one as well. Okay, I think that should be fine. All right. I really like this um, shape over here, so we're going to keep that. And as for the photo, um, let's change the color of the frame first. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but let's zoom in. There's actually like a color or a frame, an outline around the frame. 
So we're going to change the color of that to something that would match our theme. So let's try the previous colors we used. I think this one looks nice. So we're going to keep that. And of course, the photo. So when it comes to your CV, of course, you're going to need to use your own photo. So to do that, we're going to go to the upload section. And yeah, if you haven't uploaded your photo to Canva yet, then you must upload it first. Uh, to do that, click on upload files. And from there, a window will pop up. Select the um, file you want to upload to Canva. And then once you click open, it'll be a lo a loaded here. So once it's fully loaded, um, you can finally drag it into place. Say, for example, this one. And if you ever want to adjust the position of your image within the frame, double click the frame, and then drag it into position. And actually, Canva has this smart crop tool. Let's give it a try. I'm just going to do something like that and let's see if it works. Oh, for some reason, it's not working. <laughs> so, yeah, perhaps that's because my image is um, a screenshot, but I'm sure it'll work um, if you try it. So I'm just going to position it manually. And once you're done, click on done. And there you go. This will have to do for now. I don't have a picture. So yeah, this is where you're going to place your name. And put your name here. Jane Doe. If you ever want to change the um, font, go ahead and do so by going to this bar right over here. You can change its size, its color as well. Yeah, I think I'd like to change the color to something that would match our theme. So let's go ahead and do that. I think that's nice. Okay. You can also add effects if you want. So they have several effects over here. But as for me, I'd like to keep it plain and simple. <laughs> and I'd like to change the, um, um, for example, if you're a web developer, you can put that there. And then I'd like to change the color to something like this. Okay, and you can put your description over here too. And as for the other details, yeah, you can change the details if you want to. Like for example, the phone number here. You can input your own phone number, your email address, your website if you have one, and then your address. If you don't have any website, you can just delete this and, oh, sorry, I think I included this one. <laughs> you can just delete this and move the other element. I'm just going to zoom in because I think these icons are pretty small. Okay, and then we're going to position it properly. All right. And yeah, basically just keep on editing the contents of your CV or resume. And as for me, I'd like to change the colors. So I'm going to do that. And in order to be more convenient, I'm just going to copy style like that. This button, copy style, paste the style here. Just like that. I'm going to do the same thing for our icons. I'm going to change their color. Okay. And you can keep on changing the color until you're happy with how it looks. And for this, you might notice that some of these skills have three stars, four stars, five stars, and three stars. If you ever want to adjust how many stars you want to have for each skill, you can just simply change the color of the stars right here. So for example, you want to turn motion graphics into five stars. So you're going to have to click on that and then change it to 
the same color as the other stars. There. And if you ever want to turn it back to four stars, you can just choose the same color as these other stars. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, what else do we have to talk about? Um, if you want to add a new page, click on Add Page. Then you can also go back to the first page, click on the elements that you want to copy, and go back to the second page and paste it over there. So Control plus C to copy and Control plus V to paste. Let's do the same thing for all these other elements that we'd like to bring to page number two. Okay, and I'm just going to highlight all of these things. Copy, go back to page two and paste. And I'm going to place that over here. Mm -hmm. And you can input whatever you want to input here. So say, for example, this is another category for references. Yeah, you can do so. So yeah, just basically edit, copy, and paste until you're happy with your design. And I think that's all for now. Once you've finished designing your resume, then it's time for you to download your resume or your CV. To do that, go to the share button above and then click on download. And then you can choose your desired file type and make sure to check other download settings as well according to your preferences and hit download. And if you ever want to, um, I actually did this before. So you can also choose this view only link. You can copy the link and then paste that to um, your email. For example, if you're emailing someone because you wrote a proposal and an application letter, etc., and you want to incorporate your um, CV or resume, so you can do that. You can just use the view only link. They'll be able to view it, but they won't be able to make changes or edit your design. So I'm going to try to see. I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste, I mean, the link we just copied earlier, and let's see. So yeah, this is how it's going to look like to those who ever get the link. They'll be able to view it, but they won't be able to edit it. Not at all. All right, and that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you in the next one, and we really do hope that you found our video of help somehow. You have a great day.